What's going on, everybody? We return to the plains of Zendikar one final time before we say goodbye for, for quite some time. I um, have one final booster box here I got in a big, big Zendikar dump lately. Uh, when I say lately, this is probably within within the past six months. Um, Jim cracked some Zendikar from the stash. He pulled He pulled some... Good things and some bad things. He pulled a pretty awesome uh, Cavern of Souls. So I was like, that's awesome. You know, I've pulled um, Ancient Tomb out of here, which has been great. Um, the more and more, and we're going to save the box topper. I know everybody wants to see the I want to see the box topper. I'm going to end up forgetting about it, too. Um, I, you know, as I've been reviewing and looking through Zendikar, I've been, I've been really noticing, though, that there's really not a lot of value in a ton of the cards in this. A um, couple of the common and uncommons, maybe like one or two, have something. That's really it. Skydiver, Ambush. We play that in my modern deck, folks. Um, Disenchant. We're just going to take a look, look, see, and determine what's going on here, too. Ooh, looks like we got a nice pathway coming in. We got a foil, nothing crazy, but a nice bright climb pathway. That's awesome. Um, and then nothing really there. I'm going to move this just a, just a hair. There we go. So... saying goodbye to zendikar i have um if you guys haven't seen already check out my discord nice miria's call that's awesome that's a great hit check out my discord um lots of stuff happening there i'm going to be doing alpha breaks beta breaks for sorcery um and if you join patron and uh join me as a patron that i have a lot of collector boosters coming in and i can do a pretty nice deal um you'll probably be able to get a break on the channel for less than what you would pay with shipping and taxes on like tcg player or ebay even so i'm i'm pretty excited for that so check it out the slots are on my patron are filling up actually pretty fast so um if you're interested in getting in early i have a bunch of different levels in my patron account for different philosophers do different thing if you if you're in it for like tcg player consulting and you want some help uh angel of destiny what a great card i'm not sure what it's doing price wise maybe seven or eight dollars um i play this in one of my commander decks that's a great pull um was I saying? Yeah. So there's different there's different categories uh, depending on what what you're here for. If a lot of you guys want to see some of the TCG player content and you need some help consulting and uh, getting getting your feet off the ground with TCG player, um, I can help you with that. Archpriest. Okay. Zoff. Okay. Little ruin crab. Um, if you're in it for the breaks, if you're in it for you know buying some bulk, I know there's a lot of interest in the bulk um that we've produced here on the channel um you know there's just lots of opportunities okay our second second uh foil inscription of abundance okay negate negate was something back in the day i loved zendikar rising guys you guys know that you guys know i love zendikar the veil okay this in foil might actually be something swarm shambler okay takedown takedown something um, the flip lands are coming back, you know, Modern Horizons, uh, three, there's the flip lands on those, so they're making a, they're making a comeback. I got a pretty mean modern deck. Oh, uh, mauling. Okay. Nothing crazy. Negate again. Nothing. Okay. Island. Oh, okay. We got the Skyclave. He's not Bela, yeah. Bela is uh this is like a five dollar card, three dollar maybe three dollar card now. Uh but that's solid. Okay. So, you know, if you want in my stashes too, for example, you can always if you're a patron, you can request openings. I'll procure something uh for you at an incredible price. I'll take care of all of that and uh do the opening. Otherwise I may have it in my stash, believe it or not. And uh, I want to give some access, negate foil, Skyclaves, uh, access to some of the 
clearance items. Um, I, I find the clearance items at the distributor really interesting to me. Um, sometimes you can get wild deals. So we're going to do that for the patrons too. Uh, pickaxe. Okay. So far, we don't have a ton of value. We might be at like 20 bucks on the ticker up there. Song, okay. Gecko. Uh, okay, do we want to do the uh, topper? How's the topper situation looking? I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay, guys, let's check it out. Do we do the pull tab? I don't think so. I don't like the pull tab. Okay, what do we got? It's a little bit off center, whatever it is. So if it's that nice cavern of souls or another ancient tomb. We're in trouble. Boom, bloodstained mire. That's awesome. That's a hit, folks. That's great. That's a that's great. You know, obviously, bloodstained mire is in um, you know the most recent Modern Horizons three. Uh, however, um, these arts and the expeditions still fetch still fetch some money. Um, so I imagine, I don't know, that's somewhere around the lines of 40 to $50. It'll be up on the screen. But we hit a nice one there. That was great. Seagate. Okay, Tangled. Feed the Swarm. Okay. Yeah, what am I doing here? Oh, cut it over there. Sorry. Like, what's going on? Yeah. What do we got? We got the swamp, wayward, okay. Insight, the vision, okay. Utility, Zula port, okay. Okay, vortex, blocka, blocka something, A couple bucks, relic axe. Yeah. Insect planes. Forsaken monument. I don't know what this is doing. Colorless gets plus two plus two with everything going on with the Eldrazi. Kind of interested. I'm going to check that out immediately following the video um, just because I'm a little bit curious at that. That one in Lithoform Engine, like, you don't see those ones too often. You just don't see them. You see all the others a lot more. Oh, nice. Clearwater pathway. Boom. Couple bucks. Negate. Welcome to Arena. Relic amulet. Okay. Lithia forming. Vastwood. Vastwood's not a lot of money, but they, they have velocity. People want them. Just convenient, you know? You can have it as a land, you can have it as a plus one, plus one, just in case. Just in case. Skyclave Relic, okay. Fury. Can't remember Fury, to be honest. It's been a while since I've opened a booster box of this. I did the Collector's Edition pretty recently. Check out that video. Um, but we're gonna go pretty hard into, nice, World Sculptor. Showcase Foil. When he enters the battlefield, create zero one green plant token creature for each basic land you control. Whenever it enters the battlefield, put four on target plant you control. Pretty awesome. Um, I kind of like that nice rebirth in um, the foil, so I might just might just hold on to it, save it for my deck or something like that. I don't know. That's one where it's like I feel like over time it'll it'll do nice nice retreat. Okay, little wizard. Okay. Same with Angel of Destiny. I feel like Angel of Destiny is solid too. Cleansing Wildfire. Jace. Not the borderless version. He's not worth a lot, but he's a fun pull. Shelter. Relic Golem. Okay, Mahindi. It is just so hot out there, guys. At least where I am. Don't know where you are, but... Where I am, it is hot. Riverglide, this is the most expensive 
of all the pathway lands um you know probably for obvious reasons with the blue red um that's sitting non-foil you know probably something like seven bucks right now i guess if i had to guess coveted prize vision Oh, Omnath, there he is. Nice. And that's a fun one, too. Omnath in the showcase. We got Pylath and Omnath. They related. Give me a lore person. Undo inversion, okay. Uh, flip. You know, this is another one enters the battlefield tapped, but it's, uh, it's one of the nice flip lands coming in the foil. Uh, Palaka, okay. Demon. Oops, it's sticky. It's so sticky. All right, Sh uh, Shatter Skull Smashing. That's great. This is a good one. Maybe it comes in unless you pay three. It's obviously not as good as um, uh, what's the um, um, black one, Agawams. Uh, but it's solid though. A couple bucks on that for sure. Oh, another Bela. Normally you only get one Bela per box. Relic Robber. Nice. Um, I remember playing this thing constantly. This creature can't block on the beginning of your upkeep. It deals one damage to you. Pretty awesome. Um, trying to build a uh, goblin deck. Uh, so that's a nice, nice addition. He's probably not worth a ton of money, but he's just fun. Right. Um, Swamp. Myriad. Construct, yep. Wizard. All right. Coming down to the end, I, I think with the Blood Stained Mire, Mammoth, okay, um, we definitely hit our money back. I think our money in this was 75. So we definitely got there. Um, you know, I think how we got there being mostly that isn't obviously ideal we did have some other good cards i'm wondering what forsaken monument's going to come in at that's the only one i'm kind of up in the air in my mind about like what's that coming in at you know forest okay skyclave cleric there we go two packs left folks copy confounding conundrum tangled we didn't get like maddening cacophony or anything like that which is usually like one of the one of the better pulls final pack here we also didn't get a foil legendary we got a foil uh foil showcase rare no foil legendary is that going to change nope El exploration that's a like a not much not much there another malachi rebirth though a couple bucks on that um we did okay in the um in the oddly enough in the uncommon section we did all right so thanks for joining me on this final final journey through zendikar um we got some nice hits here omnath's a couple bucks pylath's a couple bucks foil like that forsaken not sure and obviously this one's probably around 50 plus or minus 10 um but again check out my discord check out my patron discord's obviously free to join keeps you up to date with everything and all the different options and and things that we're offering so all right thanks again talk to you all later